And we had a good core group all year long, and you know, the big thing we've talked about is carrying momentum from that last game of last year all the way through the winter and the spring, and you know, doing it again in the summer, and then trying to start fast. And, you know, the biggest thing for us right now is our kids are hearing from so many places that they're not any good and things like that, and trying to fight that narrative. But you know, trying to stay positive, make sure we're doing things the right way, and come out and get out on the left side for once. Do you think that provides any incentive for them, what they're reading or hearing? I think it does for a lot of them, and I think uh, you know their attitude for the core group of guys that have been with us for a couple years. You know, we're still pretty young. I have a lot of juniors. Again, we had a lot of sophomores last year. Um, so I think you know that core group is kind of tired of hearing it, and they know that they're going to have to go out and prove themselves because you can't talk about it. You got to go do it. Talk about your quarterback. Kind of looked pretty sharp tonight from what I saw in my time here. Just talk about what he brings to the position. And he's a little bit different than what we had. You know, you know, Ja got it down the field a little bit better, but Cannon's done a lot of work to try to, you know, strengthen his arm a little bit. And he's been really sharp for about the past month now. You know, our last couple seven on sevens, he threw it really well. Biggest thing is he's making good decisions all the time. So that's what we got to have him do. And just talk about the support he's getting from his backfield and the wideouts. Uh, you know, you know, first we went to camp last week and at the wideout position, Quayshon Blakeney has just had an amazing spring and summer. Um, you know, he's, he's kind of stepped up as the leader of those skill guys and he's pulling them in the right direction. And whether that's on the offensive side of the receiving core or in the secondary on the defensive side, because a lot of those guys are pl plugging in on both sides of the ball right now. Um, so, you know, all those guys can go make plays and we know that. And we put them in space and they can do really, really good things. So, you know, Cannon knows he doesn't have to be perfect with everything. He can trust them to go make some plays. And um, he's doing a good job right now of getting in the right people's hands at the right time. And talk about that offensive line in front of the quarterback. You know, he brought the whole thing back. Um, every single one of them was back. You know, uh, all of them have added a little bit of weight. All of them added a little bit of strength. I feel like, you know, last year going into it, four of those five were taking their first varsity snap ever. And so this year, having the experience of that 11-game season and then them being together for an entire offseason in the summer now, I feel good about that group going forward. And do you have any of those guys playing both ways on the defensive line? There will be a couple of those guys, you know, and we're going to have a ton of people that do it both ways. Not everybody will be, you know, starting on both sides of it, but Jake Mullis, Brian Smith, Christian Kirby, those three right there are going to definitely see time on the defensive line also. So, you know, biggest thing is trying to get them in shape, keep, keeping some size on them, but also getting them in shape and being able to go play, you know, 70, 80 snaps a night. And just to close out the defensive unit, your linebacking core and your DBs. Linebacking core, you know, we return all three of those. We won't get JJ back till about. You know, late September, early October with the ACL that he had in the last game of the year. Um, but Springs and Sean are come, both coming back. Both of those guys got a year under their belt now. Um, and then, you know, really that receiving core flipping around in the secondary with Q, with Taekwon, um, those guys, uh, Mod when he's back. You know, we, we lost him earlier this week for a few days. It's nothing this serious. So just trying to rest him right now. But all those guys being in good shape, being able to go on both sides, but they're doing a great job the, on the back end of that, just communicating, getting everybody in the right spot now. Same stuff, you know, a year of experience under our belt at all those spots. I think we're better off going into this year than we were last. Yeah, it looks like you have a kicker. <laughs> we we did. Uh, you know, we got a kid from the soccer team said he was interested in doing it, so uh, we let him do a couple things the other day. And, you know, tonight you saw it the first time that we've done any live kickoff stuff with him. And uh, other than the two that he missed and squibbed a little bit, everything else is about six or eight yards deep. So, uh, you know, putting our defense in a good position, not having to defend a short field all the time, you know, if the other team has to start at the 20, that's a lot better for us defensively. Will he also be doing punting chores? I uh, hadn't seen him do a lot of punting stuff yet. I know he does it. Uh, you know, he's a goalkeeper in soccer, soccer so he, he punts it doing that too. I hadn't seen him do any of that yet. He's only kicked some field goals and um, done some kickoff stuff that you saw tonight. So um, not sure about that yet. But, you know, it's a team that, uh, you know, our biggest thing was always playing hard, and I, I felt like we did that. Most of the time last year, I felt like we lost some tough ones last year and, you know, experience level and then, uh, you know, injuries are always, they're a big thing for everybody. Um, but, you know, the experience level coming into this one, if we continue to play with the same intensity, I don't think we'll make a couple of those small mistakes that cost us a, you know, five point game at Pageland and a six point game at West Stanley, a few of those. And I think we can, you know, turn the season around just by doing those things.